And Jeannie, these numbers come as businesses across Duval County close to do cleaning. Shim Sham and both of Hoptinger's locations closed today, saying that it's for precautionary cleaning and that none of their employees have tested positive. And with the Republican National Convention headed to Jacksonville this August, business owners are now faced with a dis dilemma. Do they stay open, hoping that they can stay financially afloat without being affected by COVID-19? Or do they close back up and hope that the spread of the coronavirus slows down before August? Here's On Your Side's Shelby Danielson. The year 2020 has been challenging for lots and lots of reasons. A pandemic, a national convention, and hurricane season. Careful attention can minimize any chance of spreading COVID. Brian Shaner is the operations manager of Ragtime, a restaurant and bar that's been in Jack's Beach for nearly 40 years. It just opened its doors back up less than a week ago, at a time when many businesses around them were closing back up due to the spread of COVID-19. When our staff checks in in the morning, we take their temperature, we talk to them about their current health. We know if they've traveled or not. Even with the risk of COVID-19, he does believe the RNC is needed more than anything right now. Having just come through this um, dead spot in the economy, um, we certainly, as local business people, need those dollars to come into our market. As far as planning on a larger scale goes, all three beach mayors and the Jack's Beach police met for the first time Tuesday to start planning. They expect to know more concrete details about RNC events next week and will coordinate with Mayor Lenny Curry. But one thing is for sure, by late August, there will be thousands more people in Jacksonville and many of them will flood to our beach community. Uh, take advantage of the economic influx, which we all need, and do a great job taking care of those guests as individuals. It's a wonderful thing for Jacksonville. 